it's the uh, last day in February and uh, it was quite a frosty morning this morning so it's quite cool uh, in the workshop. Um, I've decided my next project is going to be able with some texturing um, or spiralling done on it and um, a couple of months ago uh, I splashed out on some texturing and spiralling tools so it's the uh, Robert Sorby versions so that's the sort of standard size and that's the smaller size um, really I've, I've not had any practice using them so what I thought was um, this video I'm going to do some practice cuts uh, which will be useful to me to remind me probably not what to do once I've made the bowl um, but hopefully it'll tell me what I should be doing um, when I make the bowl so uh, let's see how we get on I'll, I'll do some practice cuts S some are probably going to be a load of rubbish um, but let's see how we progress so this is a piece of sycamore I've just trued up on the face and on the side using me a half inch bowl gouge the sycamore is about 19 centimetres in diameter and about five and a half centimetres deep. Okay, so I, th I thought it might be an idea just to uh, have a quick read of the manual. And it appears that the um, attachments um, with the du double bevel on them are for texturing and the attachments with a single bevel on them are for spiralling and apparently it looks as though the spiralling attachments uh, the bevel goes at the side where the allen key is on this side so um, I shall start using the texturing tool to see what I can do with that first of all I think you're supposed to be able to use it without this on because I think that's more for spiralling but I think I'll be safe, it'll feel safer for me if I keep that on um, so we'll see how we get on okay so the, the tool rest is about three and a half inches away from the wood um, the base plate is uh, fairly tight but I can just about move this tool around if I want to so um, starting off it'll be at 90 degrees to the base plate and I'll just put a couple of uh, lines in here so that's about 700 revs I wanted to throw me to one side to be honest. Try on the outside but I'll do a slight angle. Fairly pretty pattern. So now I'll turn it slightly to the right so that's probably about I don't know one o'clock further round and a bit further round still 
So this is about two o'clock, I would say. It feels a lot easier to control. Just turn it down slightly more. Don't know what this will turn out like. So if I now change this round and try and do a reverse so if I can do the same running that way just in here same there. Ooh, that's a shame. So you can see how I've come off there. So ruined the piece really. Up to that point it seemed to be uh, reasonably working reasonably well. So this is the spiralling tool and it's um, round about 1 o'clock, 500 revs. Slightly over to the right again. And this time I'll try a pull cup. Quite a bit of tear out on that. So this is with the spiral cutter set at round about number one to the right. Revs at five hundred. We're moving from left to right slowly. pattern. Now we'll 
we'll try with it set to the left round about number one mark This time I'll set the tool to uh, number two graduation to the right. Lay speed again around about 500. Change it to number two on the other side and repeat. Right now, I'm going to have a go at the uh, small spiralling tool. So this is turned to the right onto the first graduation. About 500 revs. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, go back to the texturing tool, um, and we're running at 700 revs. So I'm just going to do a pull cut here and see what happens. Interesting. And I'm going to have another go at this orange peel effect. So the tool at um, straight up and revs. As this is 700. Just moving side to side. 
Yes, you're pushing forward. Pretty good. So this is the uh, four millimeter spiraling tool set on number one graduation. to the left graduation number one this time I'm gonna tilt the cutter down a little bit see if that makes a difference So finally, we're going to have a go at the spindle. Um, we've got the uh, spiralling cutter, uh, it's the 4mm one. Uh, it's on gradient uh, number one, uh, tilted to the right. So I'll just see what happens here. 500 revs. I'm going to keep it on quite a while. Tilt it down a bit. Excellent result. Well, that's the end of my testing. Um, it was quite interesting, really, but I'm not too sure what I've learned. <laughs> uh, but if nothing else, I've had plenty of practice cleaning up faces and sides of uh, bowl blanks. Uh, if you've any advice you can give me, please drop me a line. I'd appreciate that. Um, also, if you found it useful, also uh, just drop me a line and let me know. Um, thanks for watching. <laughs>